Okay, Blue Jays, Blue Jays, let's, let's play, play ball! Enough! We got a leap video to do! Um, no, you have a leap video to do. I'm still allowed to be happy. Showtime! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I always get so nervous for the first LFR video of the year. Cause like, I know people are watching, and I'm just like, I don't know what to say. Oh, but I know just what to say, and I've been waiting all summer to say it. Leafs lose 3-1 to one to the Montreal Canadiens. Womp womp. And the Leafs lost in probably the best possible way for the team, and the worst possible way for me mentally. Cause you know what, I'll say it right off the hop, I thought the Leafs looked great. I thought the first couple minutes were great. I thought the first period was great. I thought the second period was pretty good. I thought the third period was great. I started asking myself things like, do the Habs suck or are the Leafs just good? And I didn't care if it was a little of column A and a little of column B. The Leafs look good. And they lost. The reason that's good for the team is they're rebuilding. All they need to do is look a little better, show some upswing, show that they bought into the Mike Babcock way of things, and it looks like they have. That's improvement, and that's a good thing. That's a reason to be optimistic. Which makes it a bad thing. Why couldn't you just let me think they suck. How, after the second half that you had last season, after the summer you had, in the direction that I know everyone knows you're going, am I left with optimism? That's your fault, Leafs! <sighs> no, it's not. It's my fault. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Honestly, dude, thank goodness the LFRs are back, because now I get to go back to therapy with you. I'm just gonna start doing these videos on a big shrink chair. Well, it all started back in 93. There was this goalie with a really cool mask. <sighs> Let's talk about the game, shall we? First things first, fans who are in attendance at the game even if you didn't pay for it, the seat you were sitting in, if it's the home opener of the Toronto Maple Leafs, wasn't less than 300 bucks. Could you at least act happy to be there? Every player who came out got nothing! Brad Boys! He plays his first game with the Leafs after getting drafted by them 15 years ago. Andy Frost, booming voice! Up next for your Toronto Maple Leafs, from Mississauga, Ontario, Brad Boys! And then, your captain, Dion Phaneuf! Boo! The captain? What? No, you don't like him! Anyway, anyway, you know what? I'm being way too hard on fans because at least they didn't throw anything this time. Mike Babcock got the biggest ovation and I, I guess that's a good thing? So opening face-off happens and... <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness, they're actually playing pretty good. Really good, really well. This team, holy smokes, they're coming out with fire and pop and Patch Ready has a puck and oh my god. The first shot Jonathan Bernier faces this season is the first shot he allows past him. Patch Ready comes in, yeah, he's got a clear shot, but Bernier gets a piece of it, it trickles over his shoulder and into the net. And poor Morgan Riley, just so determined to not let this season go like last year, diving into the net like, no! And he was so close, he was so damn close. That would have been such a great way to start the game. It actually would have been such a nice statement because of what Bernier and Reimer have gone through the last few years trying to carry this team. Instead, just a couple minutes into the game, it's the defense going, nah, homie, I got you. But Jonathan Bernier, fine goalie, prone to terrible starts, has a terrible start. And then the next shot he faces is a save, and he gets the Bronx cheer. Ooh, this season is going to hurt. But after the first period, at very least, the Leafs are out shooting the Habs, and they look pretty good. Frankly, they they look like the better team. Second period, the Leafs have a power play. I like where this is going. All right, let's evaluate. Let's see who they have on the ice. I see Phaneuf, Kadri. Oh, the puck's in the net already. What a nice little surprise for a couple reasons. One, look at he split on the power play, and now the game's tied. And two, the Leafs don't need JVR. That goal wasn't scored by JVR. That goal was scored by JVH. James Van Hockey. That's the JVR. That's the JVH that I love. The guy that I remember from the Bruins series just taking abuse in front of the net and good things happen. Now second period, Petrie puts the puck in the net. Rabble, rabble, rabble. <gasps> Coach's challenge. And this to me showed the rock of Mike Babcock. Because you're in Toronto now, my friend. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't in this situation. Because here's what could have happened. One, he decides not to do a coach's challenge and all of a sudden he didn't allow the coach's challenge on the game-winning goal. Forget Bernier Stinker to start the game. That is the storyline today. Mike Babcock in his day debut with the Toronto Maple Leafs goofed up. Option number two, they do do the coach's challenge and it's a goal anyway. So in his debut with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Mike Babcock makes history by doing the first ever coach's challenge and failing. Oh, it's a shootout all over again. You know, the Leafs had the honor of losing the first ever NHL shootout and now Babcock has the honor of being the first ever coach to screw up the coach's challenge. But here's what you don't realize. That wasn't the first
first ever coaches challenge. The first coaches challenge that Mike Babcock accepted this season was trying to be the coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And lucky for him, so far he looks up to the task, and lucky for him, spearing a goalie in the neck is against the rules, no goal! The story we kept getting caught up in is, oh my goodness, look at all the opportunity on the Leafs. Is Nazem Kadri up to the task? Can Brad Boys earn a contract? And then he does. And then, oh my goodness, can Morgan Riley be elite? And can this guy keep a spot? And that guy keep a spot? There are Habs! with opportunity. And Alex Galchenyuk, after a shaky start to the night, shaky start in the face-off dot, Phew! Snipe! The game-winning goal. Beautiful shot that kind of makes you go, oh yeah, he's a third overall pick. And the Leafs had so many chances to tie it. Holland had a chance! Lupel had a chance! Nick Smalling! Oh, beautiful chance, but the puck rolled on him! You're killing me, Spalls! But effing Carey Price. And what sucks is because of our love of the Blue Jays, we can't even chant the name Price sarcastically. So we just have to kind of sit there and take it as he stops 36 of 37. I like you once every four years, Carey! That's it! Leafs pull Bernie for the extra attacker, PK Subban, Beautiful feed to Max Pacioretty. He scores just like on the first goal, and it's a 3-1 win for Montreal and for those of you who want Austin Matthews. And what did I say last season? The Leafs can't just lose. They have to break some sort of record in the process. What are you talking about, Steve? The Leafs actually look pretty good. What could have possibly happened? Max Pacioretty becomes the first ever Habs captain to score two goals in his debut as captain. Do you know how old the Habs are? And wouldn't you know it, it was against a on an empty netter? <laughs> We're overall encouraged by that game, right? I asked this on Twitter. Who is your favorite Leaf and who is your least favorite Leaf? I thought Brad Boys had a good game, had some scoring chances, had some open shots, just didn't really get a good shot off. I'm encouraged by how much Mike Babcock appears to be leaning on guys like Morgan Riley and Jake Gardner. He really seems to have kind of, you know, let them go and do their thing. Be the players that they are. Offensive and really good skaters. Most impressive debut? I gotta say, Matt Hunwick was really good. Archibello was kind of ho-hum until he generated a scoring chance, doing what a lot of Leafs were doing last night, and that's using the boards to get the puck up. And Daniel Winnick, that whole energy line, they looked alright. But I'm so discouraged to say that the Leafs who impressed me the least were the guys who were there last year. I want to say Lupul, but he had a couple chances. Overall ho-hum, but whatever. Bernier had the awful first goal. Bernier had an awful first five to ten minutes, but he recovered. He was good. Made a couple amazing saves. That game could have been much worse. You never know. Vanuf didn't impress me all that much, but he did get an assist on the team's only goal, which leaves me with, and I don't want to pick on the guy. I don't. Every time I watch him, I want him to be better than he is. Tyler Bozak, man. Hard to even really say he was that bad, he just didn't do much of anything. And Kadri, I thought, had a fine audition there as the team's number one center. Not amazing, but better than the other option. So let that be the question of the game. Who is your favorite Leaf and who is your least favorite? And maybe as a sidebar, who had your favorite debut for the Leafs? So let that be the end of it because I have a tendency to go long when I'm a little out of practice. And since that's it, thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. I do a video after every single Leafs game. Tell all your friends. If you want to watch the highlights, sportsnet.ca link right below. And I'll see you in game two when our journey on the rebuilding Barfmobile continues. Let's go Blue Jays.